before we begin this tutorial, my UI will look different to yours as the vertexes are larger and some of the colors have changed. These can be changed within the Blender preferences and as it says, it is just a preference. I've started off just with a simple pair of low poly legs that I've modeled using the subsurf modifier. I've applied that modifier, added a simple just material, and then I quickly added a basic armature, which I animated with a few keyframes, just looping over 40 frames. Um, the running animation is pretty horrid, but it gets the point across. We will need some pants, so to create them, I will start by hiding the bones. This can be done by selecting them and clicking the visibility button, or this can also be achieved through pressing H. Pressing tab to enter the edit mode, and number 3 on the number pad will give us an orthographic view. We want to select the vertices that we'll be using for the pants. I will do this by going into wireframe mode and holding the Z key, and then using the box select tool, pressing B. This can also be achieved through using C to circle select. Then we want to press Shift D to duplicate the selected vertices. Also we want to scale them by pressing S to remove them from the legs. Making sure it's on the individual origin setting so each leg is scaled up separately. Then to make the pants a separate object we can press P and select selection. As you can see, it has snapped into the armature's pose as the weights and armature modifier have been copied onto the pants. Going back into object mode and selecting the pants, it can be seen that the legs are clipping through the back of the pants around the calf. Going into edit mode through tab, I will scale up the pant cuffs and rims to add more distance between the two objects and to give more room for the simulation to play with. After some more adjustments, we were ready to prep for the cloth simulation. I added some more loops on the cuffs using Control R, so the cloth has more vertices to move. Now adding the cloth simulation to the pants, either through selecting it in the Modifiers tab or the Physics tab, knowing that you can click on this button to go to the Physics tab from the Modifier tab. As we can see, we play the animation, the pants are just falling as they are not attached to the legs. To fix this, we will hide the legs and go into edit mode. Then we will remember to go into wireframe mode so the back faces are selected when using the box selection tool. We are selecting the section of the pants we don't want to have simulated so they won't be affected by gravity. Then create a vertex group within the vertex panel and call it pin, making sure the weight is set to 1 and click the assign button. As we can see in the weight paint mode, we have created a smooth gradient. Remembering that red is not going to be affected by the simulation and blue is. The pants are still falling as we haven't pinned the pin group yet. Going into the cloth tab and under the pin section we select the vertex group, pin. It's working except for the next issue as the cloth is simulating but it is treating the legs like they don't exist. To simply fix this, we just add collision physics to the legs through the physics tab. As we can now see, the cloth is moving around the legs nicely. Now using similar techniques we use to create the pants, some simple shoes can be made. Box select, duplicate, scale, separate. To add more thickness to the shoes, the solidify modifier can be used remembering to tick only rims so inside faces are not generated. I will quickly remove the collision physics as the pants do not touch the shoes. Just to finish up I'll play around with some settings, mainly the cloth weight and then I'll add some simple materials. I had to make a few scaling adjustments to the pants as there were still some clipping issues. The easiest fix was to increase the outer thickness of the collision physics on the legs. Using these same simple methods, variations of clothing can be created and further modularity can be achieved. Remembering that you can always tweak what sections are pinned and any settings within the cloth tab to create something truly yours. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.